I do really love this lighting. I think it's gonna be great to use and you can choose how many lights you need for your setup. Okay, so I am going to do an unboxing of the studio, the new studio lighting so that we can maybe move away from the ring lighting, which causes this, it's really difficult. These are more like the umbrella lights and they come in white and black. There's, I believe, two of each. So if we can put them on either side, it might avoid me having to have a ring right in front. So if you are someone who has glasses and this is an issue for you, this just might work. So we're gonna do a little unboxing and see how it goes. So this is kind of cool because there's supposed to be four umbrella type lighting. So it looks like we're actually getting four, well, maybe not, okay. We have, maybe there's two in each one of these. And then we've got a bunch of other little boxes here. So, I'm thinking probably light bulbs for each one. We'll see. These are a little heavier. And the cool thing with this is it has a case. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff in here. Okay, so there's a case. The Limo Studio, this is like another bag. I love the carrying case option of all of these two. And here's the umbrellas. Okay, just so, so there's two in the white and there's two in the black. Now, I don't even know what the difference is, but we're gonna figure it out at, just by using it. And I can also do some research, but I love the idea of having, having the umbrellas on either side so that it's bringing this lighting in and it's not creating these rings in my glasses all the time. So we're gonna see how these work. I'm really excited. And then it looks like these are little Velcro straps uh, to hold all of the cords and stuff in place. So let's see how all of this pans out. I'm excited. So much potential for great things. that initially it's a little intimidating when you see all these boxes of different things especially if you kind of see yourself as someone who's not really good at putting things together the first thing I want to say to you is get that out of your head that 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 you can't do something because you absolutely can put stuff together you have to remind yourself immediately that you can do anything Okay, so that's the first thing. And then pace yourself. Take everything out of the boxes, you know, initially, like the things that are gonna remain together. And then the other thing is just explore. This is an exploration, right? You had three big boxes, one small box. You need to know what's in them. I wouldn't recommend taking everything out of, like all the little boxes and out of all the paper. Just kind of know what's in the boxes first. I took one of these out because there's three of them and I wanted to see what that is, okay? So now I know that these three larger boxes are all the uh, light bulbs. Okay, the next thing is um, there were two of these boxes, three of these smaller ones and the smaller ones are the actual pieces that are gonna hook on here. So I'm gonna show you how I did it because I wasn't sure at first. And this part was a little intimidating to me. So I wanna actually show this to you on camera because it's actually not as bad as it looks. It looked a little scary. I'm like, ugh, I don't know if I can do this because I always go there immediately thinking, you kind of just want someone else to do it. But in our world, we're, 
we do everything, right? We're like, we're behind the scenes and in front of the camera. You don't really get that option to feel sorry for yourself or to say you can't do it. Nowadays, girls can do anything. So the first thing is the way that it's put together. You're gonna unscrew this because they just did that for packaging, okay? So you're gonna open it up and then you're gonna screw it straight. So, so it actually is straight. Why do you do this? Because you need it to fit on top of this piece right here, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is, and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna line these up together because I don't want these all to jam. I'm gonna line it up differently. So first thing is open this up. I'm going the wrong way. Not all the way where it falls out, but enough where you can slide this in and it goes all the way down. As much as, as it can go down, you want it to go down. Now that one, yeah, it's about the same. It's down as far as I can get it with it being all the way open. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tighten it up. So I'm gonna look at it because I wanna I wanna make sure it's uh let me see, can I can I get this to go all the way? I'm gonna look at this one more time. looks like it's in there all the way that it can go so I'm just gonna tighten this up now I'm holding it in place and I'm just turning it so it's it's getting tighter and more secure okay now I can't do it anymore now the thing is is if you loosen this up you see how it moves so depending on how you're gonna need that later and I don't know yet because we're at the beginning stages of this but I'm just tightening these up now these other ones just like a mic stand, it's probably just for height. Okay, so wherever you need this height to go, you can see, whoa, this is pretty high. Okay, and if you need it to be super tall, you would just determine where the best lighting is on your face or however you need to do it. So there, the, there's two of them and this would be the top piece. <laughs> if I can get it, Ooh, yeah. Okay, so, there's this one that does the first base and then the top one is the higher one. So if you need it to be super high, you would then extend the sec this one here. So you always extend the lower one first. And the reason why for me anyway is the higher it gets, you know, you have to make sure that the ba base is really steady. And if you're doing this outside and there's a wind, you're even gonna need some kind of um, weight some kind of weight bags or rice bags or something like that to throw over the bottom parts to make sure that they don't blow over in the wind. So that's just a note. But so far, this is pretty easy to put together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, do this one too. And then we're gonna get to the next part, which is attaching these guys. Right, we have this going and I already just kind of made my first like uh, mistake is we have to remember that the light where the bulb is going to screw in right here is going to face towards that because I had I had put the umbrella in the opposite direction <laughs> so the, the light is going to be facing towards the inside and and there's a little thing here where you loosen this up and it slides through here now I'm not sure right now how close it needs to be so I'm just gonna Maybe put it halfway and tighten it. And then I'll have to, you know, look online to see. Um, I'll do some more tutorials of setups of the, the um, limo studio lighting. But for now, I just kind of did it halfway. Actually, and there's a little divot here. I wonder if that has something to do with that. Let me see. Okay, so it looks like it's in there pretty good. Now, mind you, this is just a setup and I'm gonna have to do a lot more research, you know, by looking online and, you know, other people have expertise and they share with you like what they've learned. Okay, then you take, and you have to be very careful with these lights because they said they're very fragile. And the other thing is it does come with instructions about it's not a fire hazard 
but they do create smoke, pungent odor, or even, even if they spark and do any of those things, it's basically a sign that the, that the, that the uh, light bulb itself is needing to be replaced. It happens at the end of the life, but something built in here prevents it from fire. Okay, and so you need to read the, all of this stuff. Part of putting this stuff together too, you guys, is really understanding the products that you're using and not just going, okay, I'm just gonna set it up and not read through it. You need to read through, if it says attention or dangers, you need to know what these, these things, especially the electrical parts, if there's any information on the electrical parts, you need to read that because you need to understand that, you know, probably the reason why they said this is because it probably has smoked or sparked and people started complaining to the company saying it's defective when in reality, this is the way that it notifies you that your bulb is at the end of its life and that it's time to change it and that they had already thought ahead of time that these are are fireproof right but there's specific things you need to do at the end of the life of the bowl right so if i hadn't have read that i wouldn't have known that and i myself also would have thought that it was defective or a fire hazard and i might even felt like i can't use this anymore because maybe i thought it was a fire hazard see so you got to read up on all the stuff because ultimately when you don't it can cost you money later. If I didn't know that and I thought it was a fire hazard, I would think that I have to rebuy all this equipment with another company. So it costs you time and money because everything new that you get, you then have to research, right? You have to figure out how to work it. You have to set it up. So read the materials as part of your girl power or boy power. Make sure even if you think in the past you have not been good at setting things up, don't put that limitation in your mind. If I can do it, you can do it, okay? So now we're gonna take this bulb. Now it's not plugged in, so I'm just kind of experimenting. And I say, experiment with this stuff when it's not plugged into a socket, okay? Very gently twist that in. So I've done that just to feel what it feels like. I can see over here it has an on and off switch and then you would plug it into the wall. Make sure that it's in the off position when you plug it in and then just turn it on. So when I get all this stuff set up, I'm going to actually come back to you because I want to set some of these up and then see what it looks like. Okay, so how fun. We have new equipment that might solve the problem of I might only need one of these if it doesn't show any kind of glare or you know any kind of umbrella in my glasses. I don't know yet how this is gonna work out. I may need one, I may need two, but I'm really excited. I think this is gonna make a big difference, especially for people who wear glasses, to not have to deal with that annoying ring that happens all the time. Even though I know different ways to get rid of it, it really takes a long time to try and set up all these different ways to get the ring out of your glasses. And so I know for me, having something that's a little bit different like this could be the answer to make sure that all my videos are really good because there are times when I just get lazy. I try and keep my chin down so it doesn't show up, but there are times that it does show up. And if I can do this with one setup and not have to worry about it, it's gonna be a bonus. So. Let me get all this set up now that I've showed you the basics and then I'll come back. Okay, so now we are going to try the white one and see what that looks like. It's kind of cool. I just want to see, okay, so if I put it in front of me. Let's look at this together. So I literally have the umbrella, the white umbrella right in front of me. Now I can't, excuse you, <laughs> I can't see whether or not I can see the, the white in my eyes. Now you're gonna see little blue things because I have the, the blue screen protectant on my glasses, but I can't see right now whether or not, uh, turn, that one, uh, uh, turn that one off this real quick. Let's try this differently now too. So turn that one back on. Okay. And then turn it more to the side, like literally to the side. Face it towards me more. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like the white is a better, uh, white umbrella is a little bit better for me. I'm going to shut this off 
set the other one up for the white other white umbrella and we'll see how it looks so this is what this lighting looks like right here I've got silver black umbrella and I have just the white umbrella now I kind of like the white one a little bit better because the silver one is like Ooh. I'm going to switch out this umbrella to have two white ones on either side of me and then we'll see how it looks my goal was to not you know to not have rings constantly in the center of my glasses when I'm recording and talking to people. So we'll see how this looks at the very end. So Leah wanted to be on camera. <laughs> you know, if I turn certain ways, my lens is definitely going to do something. Honey, please don't, don't mess it up. I'm just, I'm trying to film right now. Okay, so here I am, you guys. I really like the, the white lighting. You guys, it looks so good. Now I can still put different types of softer lighting in my background and all that stuff, but I have two umbrellas set up right now and this looks good to me. Now I have them kind of at, at this level so you can see these shadows, right? I have them at about, it's actually set up probably right at the top of my head is how tall, well one is actually lower than the other one. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set it up for higher and see if that makes a difference too. Because remember what I taught you guys before is that putting them up a lot higher gets them out of the line of sight. Now with these, it looks like I can have them on either side and it gives me that lighting that I need without putting a ring right where my pupil is. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them up higher and I'm gonna see if it just eliminates the problem altogether. This is so cool, so fun. I'm looking at this and I really like it. The lighting is so good and it's also not harsh lighting because it's facing away and it's these kind of soft white umbrellas. It doesn't look too bad. I'm really liking this. All right, you guys. So I have them on either side of me now at the same at the same uh, height, and I have the, the tripods lifted to about four feet or so. And then you can adjust, you know, these these moving parts with the light bulb to get the right lighting. You need to look at the background and what you're trying to avoid is shades and shadows on your face. Now, nothing is ever going to be perfect, but already you guys, I am loving the fact that I'm looking at myself and you know, I do see some other things, but I'm not seeing the typical ring that is always in my face. And the other thing that I'm loving is that it looks so balanced. The lighting looks balanced. And the amazing thing with this uh, limo studio uh, set is that it comes with everything um, I'm not going to give you the price because on Amazon the price changes but I do have my affiliate links in the description so that you can click on that and go right to the limo uh, studio set I can tell you it was one of the most affordable prices out there for this setup and this much stuff you literally get three tripods they provide all the light bulbs and they're pretty quality I mean so far really quality so the only thing that you would need to get is if you're going outside you would need to get um, you literally could just buy rice and leave them in the bags right and then just throw the rice bags on the bottom part of the tripod to lock it in and you can get rice bags at the dollar store to actually do that when it's outside it's not going to uh, fall over in the wind and that sort of thing this is a great solution you guys for <laughs> my husband says it feels like he's outside right now he's we're in the living room and he's over there doing his thing but it literally yeah it's like white light therapy like you're just waking up and the studio is like on this is like professional studio lighting and already I can tell just from looking at it Man, this is going to make a difference in my videos. So I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Remember, don't limit yourself and think that you can't do it because you absolutely can put these tripods together. I don't care how old you are. I'm in my 50s. If you are 60, 70, 80, you can do this. All you have to do is tell yourself that you can do it. Take your time. Be patient. Understand you're going to get nervous when you're trying to set things up that you haven't done before. And just breathe into it and take one thing at a time. I give it a thumbs up. So far now it's going to be just getting out there and using it as much as possible. But for people who have struggled with 
having just marks all over their glasses when they're recording and even people who don't this is a really really cool product you can't beat it for the price all right see you bye waking up to a brand new day in between your sheets breaking out in the best of ways and i'm back again on the street